Kelligan of Uist and Ken Mull of Lewis were rivals for the hand of a maiden fair. Garlatha, the child of the Prince of Harris, both longed for to touch her flowing silken hair. My daughter Mary Kenmel, her good father urged, obediently she nodded, he swelled with happy pride. Thus may our kingdoms be amicably merged, and Kelligan may go and seek another bride. What price? A wedding in the outer Hebrides, naught but a pound or two for meat and ale and cheese. What price for hide and seek? Played by bride and groom, naught but a glory box to serve thee for a tomb. Swiftly were they married, the guests about them danced. There was provender sufficient to last them all the week. And Kenmull and Garlatha stood by growing love entranced. She giggled, Kenmull, let us play a game of hide and seek. She hurried from the hall, he counted up to twenty, and then he came a hunting for his flushed and charming bride. But all the castle's rooms were standing still and empty. He shouted, Garlatha, oh, whither didst thou hide? What price? A wedding in the outer Hebrides, naught but a pound or two for meat and ale and cheese. What price for hide and seek played by bride and groom? Naught but a glory box to serve thee for a They searched amid the hills, they searched upon the shores, they looked in every outhouse, in every barn and rig. Her father had his carpenters tear up all the floors, he even turned the fallen leaves with his walking stick. The house was abandoned to gull and gannet's nest Until the hummer clouds came to knock the building down And there they found a skeleton huddled in a chest Garlatha embroidered on her mouldy wedding gown What price? A wedding in the outer Hebrides Naught but a pound or two for meat and ale and cheese What price for hide and seek played by bride and groom Naught but a glory box to serve thee for a tomb